here. Those are the sand trains. And they're saying at this point in the sand mining here that there are now a uh, hundred cars going out per day. Now when more plants come in, what's that going to mean? 200, 300 cars per day? I don't know. It's a lot of cars. A lot of sand. The practice of hydraulic fracturing, or fracking, used in the mining of natural gas has made headlines over the past year, with the United States being referred to as the Saudi Arabia of natural gas in a January speech by President Obama, one can assume that the trend will continue. While the hydraulic fracturing debate loudly continues at a national level, the complementary industry of frac sand mining is quietly exploding in western Wisconsin. The sand mines and processing plants are popping up in small towns and rural communities all over the region. Community residents, business leaders, and legislators are working hard to understand the benefits and challenges that accompany the surge. Well, yesterday there was a conference at, um, in Eau Claire and it was put on by Wisconsin Towns Association and also a Farmers Union. And it was to inform the municipalities, whether it's the, you know, the, the county boards right on down to the uh, township boards, all the mun municipalities, the cities, villages, and so on, to inform them about these, this new industry of frac sand. Every, almost everything that we, we've done, we've had to do from scratch because n there was no other pattern from any other company or except the people in Arkansas, but even their situation was different than ours and we were at a different level than they. And when we started a uh, meeting in, in about November of 2010, we had no idea at that time uh, that we would have not only a processing plant and a mine, but that there would be other mines that would even be considered going in. Although we knew that um, the plant that was started in Chippewa needed other mines in order to become fully functional. But uh, then, of course, they just the whole concept exploded. There are so many people who don't even know what frac sand is. I think, I think the, certainly the majority of people don't understand that. And they don't understand when they say, well, fracking is way out east. Fracking is in Montana. Fracking is in Wyoming. It doesn't, um, doesn't affect us. But you have to tell them, we're the start of this whole process with our sand. It's, uh, it's contentious, and it's, it's not fair to the landowners who are paying the price for all these trucks running up and by their house and, <laughs> and right. worrying about their well and whether the silica dust is going to harm them over the sh short term or long term or how much should they stay inside and turn the air conditioners on in the summertime. So I foresee my well going dry and having to dig a deeper well at my own expense. So they're, they're going straight for the, the same well water that people are using for drinking, the sand industry is using for their washing of stands. Exactly. For all their, their, for their processing purposes. plants, there's a processing plant two miles to my east and uh, there's going to be another one two miles to my west. There's a wet processing plant on 64 and double D. They're all using water. And the um, plant at Double D and 64 has already had a, uh, a break in their holding pond that dumped into Trout Creek. And although I don't trout fish, I think it's a crying shame that we may or may not have fish in that stream next year. We heard from the companies about all the good things that, were, that this would bring to our area, like jobs and economic development. We didn't hear all the pitfalls. Now we realize that there's a lot of other things, uh, chemicals and so on, that are being used to clean the sand, uh, chemicals that, that are, are being used uh, throughout the industry that we um, were, were concerned about. And then we've realized that very little attention has been taken to uh, uh, protect the, the health and safety and welfare of the citizenry. This has been more about economic development and, and more about jobs than it has about protecting the welfare of the people.